In the Mystic Ruins by Angel Island, there's a huge chunk of invisible collision that Sonic can actually run on. By spin dashing on the most severely angled part of this rock and then simply releasing it, you'll see that Sonic begins to run upwards and you can even steer him to the left or right, although going to the left offers the best results. If you're able to keep this run going, eventually the invisible ground ends and Sonic falls, but it's possible to land on top of the cliff edges that usually aren't able to be reached. The collision of these ledges doesn't exactly line up, so you can have Sonic stand inside them, which is never not weird. You can follow these cliffs around the edges until the game decides you really shouldn't be up here, and more collision forces you down to Earth once again. Or in this case, throws Sonic to the most fun death of his life. If I had to guess, the developers were really trying to wall characters like Tails in by adding an invisible ceiling so that he isn't able to fly so high that you'd break the illusion that this isn't just a game. Or possibly it was something left over from an earlier layout of this area, but I think the first option is probably more likely. An interesting question that might arise from this is, can you enter Red Mountain using this glitch without opening the gate? And the answer is no. The load zone isn't active until the gate is open. All you've actually done now is put Sonic in jail where he belongs.